An illegal firearm was seized by police in Grangeville, Westmoreland on Tuesday night. Police report that about 9.48 p.m. a team of officers was on high visible patrol in Racecourse District in Grangeville when the cops initiate a snap raid in the area. During the operation, an open lot was searched and one black and silver roughneck 9mm double barrel handgun with serial number erased, along with two 9mm cartridges was found close to an abandoned building in a clear plastic bag. At the end of September, major crimes were up by 3.8% when compared to this point last year. There were 86 more murders, which is a difference of 8%. Shootings are down by 6%. Rape is down by 12%, break-ins are up by 7%, and robberies up by 17%. However, when we examine the homicide figures more closely, a worrying trend emerges. In the month of September alone, there were 19 incidents of multiple murder, 18 doubles and a triple, amounting to 39 victims. So far this year, there have been 99 incidents of multiple murders with victims totaling 218. We believe that this trend is reflective of the ease with which more and more criminals have been able to acquire guns and ammunition. Unlike the police who are constrained in the use of lethal force when bystanders are around, these criminals couldn't care less who they kill, maim, or hurt. Our investigations have also revealed that in several of these incidents, there were multiple intended targets. And some who seem to be innocent bystanders are actually associated with those targets. Now, on average, the gun has been the weapon of choice in 84% of murders and 79% of robberies for more than a decade. Recently, the changes to the firearm legislation were passed in both houses of parliament. We believe that this is a potentially game-changing modification in the laws around illegal firearms and the attendant sentencing regime. The surest indicator of whether someone is a gunman must be the fact that they have been held with an illegal gun. The new act should cause every gunman or anyone else who feels they should to think twice about being in possession of a firearm, an illegal firearm, much less using it to commit a crime. Um, me here just uh, introduce me to the man. Okay. I me get the risk, then give me, give me, me, me TRN, and me ID, and, and they'll turn up the receipt, give me. They'll turn up the receipt, give me. Nobody no give me no look of one, no look of nothing, nothing they no give me. No, I thought me just a pause and so much. I thought me so the money don't need playing. Me just a poor for God work. I see that work for God work. I change that I make God work in the man time. Come in the happy, come here and see if it belongs or so. So me don't know what it is. There was a jailbreak at the Kingston Central Police lockup overnight. The Police Corporate Communication Unit has confirmed the incident, but was not able to immediately provide details. The news team understood that at least one inmate escaped from the maximum security section of the lockup, which reportedly owes his accused murderer, Constable Noel Maitland, who is charged in the presumed death of his missing girlfriend, social media personality, Donnelly Donaldson.